so in the previous session so we discussed that how we can create the single node value from your excel node. now we can see how can we read the multiple node values for that i'll do is i'll go here uh, and i'll take a file as example that's called uh, let me check that yes i have this file So here in the root under root node, I have four value nodes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, I want to directly access the third value node. That means I don't want to go through one, two, and I want to access the third value node. First, we'll see that how we can do that. After that, we can see that how we can go through the multiple nodes. For that, I am going to open the XML session. So, starting the session. Here, I am not going to show you all the validations whichever I explained you in the previous session. Okay, because you already know that. I'm not XML. This is the file. Opening and once I open the session, I need to close the session also, right? So the session name should be stop. It's in your case. Everything is your case. Now I'm going to use the get single node. Thing is, you can do in this way root of value. I want the third position, right? Because I have three value nodes. I want to get it from the third position. So that's why in this brackets, I mentioned the value as three. So this one is going to get the value from the third position value root. Sorry, value node. So I assign that to the sample string. Let me print that in the message box. So here, I'm going to print the Okay, the common mistake session one should be defined properly, otherwise, it will show the session X. Three. See? Third value is the only right, that's why it's get to. I'll go with the insert node also. So XML. I want to insert a node to this sum file. That means the sum.xml. So the session name should be sum. It should be insert under the root node. That's the reason I'm giving it as a root. And the val the node name should be value only. I want to add one more value node. And the node value should be 5. If node name is present, then what have to do? See, in this case, we already know we have the value nodes. That is the case. What we have to do is already there. Keep it, overwrite it, or insert it anyways. So, if you want to overwrite, but suppose there is a, assume that only one value node. Let me show you one thing. I'll say instead of this, this name, okay. and I'll give it. Yes. So here, 
skip it or putting the skip it. if already the name node is there this value is not going to be updated because i told that if the already name node is all available just skip it where you want to insert it beginning of the chain nodes or ending of the chain nodes or before a specific chain node if you want to mention that before a specific chain node also you can do that i just want to go with the end of all chain nodes and the default namespace namespace is a part of the xml language uh, for that you need to aware about xml technology okay all these things are not required however saving this and i am going to run this part actually the file should be updated the some file should be updated let's go and see here if the name node is not added but let's refresh it once let's see it's not added the reason is see we didn't get any error the bot executed as expected but why this name node was not added the reason is actually it's added but that was not saved okay that's the reason we need to use the save session data let me run it again okay when it was in this video out it's very good when i was in this video out it's very good If you see this message box here, you can see that new node called name. Okay, there. Okay. Close. But let's go and see that whether it's updated here or not. Okay. Not updated. The reason is we added that node to that particular session. Okay, we don't want to. Uh, I mean, we didn't update the actual file. If you want to update the actual file, we need to select this, and if you and we need to select the file, whatever we want to update. Okay, so now I'm going to select it. Save. Okay. Right. Okay, maybe this file is in open state, right? That might be the reason. Let me close it. Oh no, I need to select this option. Yes, I need to overwrite it. The under search here. If the file is already there. I need to overwrite. Otherwise, I can create the new file. Let's type this one. Let's try to create the new file. Will it able to create or not? Yes, the new file has been created. See, someone has been created with the today's date. Let me open and show you that whether the, that is added or not. 
the new one has been added. Go back here. Here now I want to show you the delete operation. So on top of someone. So remove this. I am just going to the delete delete node feature. I want to delete that. There is only one name, right? That's why I directly gave the relevant path because I know that in that particular file there is a only one node with the name of name. If there are multiple nodes with the same name, we need to provide the absolute path. If you provide the relevant path, it will send us error. You give a double slash before name. Yeah, that's the relevant path, right? Okay, but I'll select the type this way. For maybe for that delete feature, we may need to provide the absolute path. But whenever we are getting the single node, already I demonstrated that how to get that with the absolute path. Why it's not allowed? No, not for there, right? It's there, but why is not? You have created a new file now. So the yeah, I created the, the new one. file. Yeah, I call the new file only. See here, the, I'm calling that someone only. No, no, it's not saved. Oh. Okay, that might be the reason. Let me try with the relevant path first. If that doesn't work, we'll go with the absolute path. We leave this time within the animation. Yes. Select the overwrite. Yeah, here the reason. Yes, the file is already exist. To save it, the new changes we need to overwrite the file. For this, we need to assign that output to the new XML file. This time, I'm just going with the overwrite feature. I don't want to create a, one more new XML again. This is we got it. Let's go and see here. When you paste this file, the name is gone. Okay. Like this, we can delete the node as well. And the thing is, next thing is, how can we access the multiple? For that, we remove this. I'll say that get multiple nodes. I'm taking this feature here, and from the sum, just giving root of value from the each node i want to get the value that's the reason i am just getting the text value or else export expression see all these are uh, related to the xml concepts but uh, in general for us this feature will be helpful in many scenarios okay but uh, we'll try to demonstrate each and everything except for this attribute but first, uh, let's go with the text value. Okay. Once I collected this, whenever we go with the multiple values in the Excel, we'll be using that uh, Excel loop, right? In the same way, here also we'll be having a loop for the XML. So whenever it goes with the multiple nodes, I'll be opening the XML, each node in the XML data set. Session name should be sum.
1 it came like 2 3 4 like this we can get the multiple nodes let's see what is the other option expert expression option say one one let's see what would be the output root of value 1 so because we are uh, accessing the first value node after that value 2 value three, like this will be getting See, as we can define this in another way as well i can give the relevant path as well instead of public good path i can give it a, like this and i can run it this time we will see what would be the output Same output is coming, right? Like this, we can access the multiple node values by using this multiple nodes command. And the final command in this XML is that uh, XPath expression. Let me demonstrate this as well. So we go on this one. From going back to the XML, and I'll take the execute the XPath function. This one, okay. this one, what I'll do is say that like a comma value, and again, this to the sample string. Let's see what is the output. Session name. name. Okay. I forgot this. Okay. I give the wrong syntax in the second place. Okay, I like this, I need to do it. Let me copy this and let's go back to the upper code. See, like this, we'll be having a different different XML functions. So for that, to execute them, we should know about those uh, syntax. Now it is going to sum all these values 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. What will be the output? Then like, like this, uh, we can, I mean, execute the this uh, XML functions. 